I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about isotopes and atomic weight. There are only a few instances that all atoms in a naturally occurring sample of an element have the same mass. Most elements consist of atoms that have several different mass numbers. Recall that mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. The number of protons is what makes an element unique. If you change the number of protons, then you've changed the element. The number of protons is described by the atomic number. Carbon has six protons. If you added another proton to a carbon atom, it would have seven protons and it would no longer be carbon. It would be nitrogen. The only other particle that gives mass to an atom is the neutron. The number of neutrons in an atom does not affect the identity of the element, and so a given element can have atoms with a different number of neutrons, but they'll always have the same number of protons. So what are we going to learn in this video? First, we'll define the terms isotope and atomic weight. Then we will learn how to calculate atomic weight of an element. At the end of the video, there will be a problem that you could try to solve so you could check your understanding. As we have already described, elements can have atoms with different number of neutrons, but they will always have the same number of protons. Atoms with the same atomic number but a different mass number are called isotopes. For example, boron has two isotopes, that is it has two kinds of atoms. Both kinds have five protons, that's the atomic number of boron, and then one has five neutrons while the other has six neutrons. The mass numbers of boron are 10 AMU and 11 AMU. These elements have different abundance in nature, and we describe the natural abundance of an isotope by its percent abundance. Percent abundance is equal to the number of atoms of a given isotope divided by the total number of atoms of all isotopes of that element, and then times 100 to turn it into a percent. The percent abundance of boron-10 is 19.91%, and the percent abundance of boron-11 is 80.09%. So if you had 1,000 boron atoms, on average, 1,990 would be boron-10, and then 8,009 would be boron-11. This is where atomic weight comes in. That's this number on the periodic table. It's the weighted average of the masses of all naturally occurring isotopes of that element. To calculate the weighted average, first you change the percent abundance into decimal form by dividing by 100. Then, multiply each mass by this abundance in the decimal form, and then add them all together. So for boron, we end up with 10.81, and here is that number on the periodic table. That's how you calculate the atomic weight of an element. So in this video, we learned that atoms with the same atomic number, but a different mass number, are called isotopes. Atomic weight is the weighted average of all the masses of different naturally occurring isotopes for an element. You could calculate the atomic weight of an element by using the percent abundance of the naturally occurring isotopes to calculate the weighted average. Thanks for watching. You can support the Science Classroom by liking this video and subscribing to the channel.